how much time do you need for our voices to reach your hearts? We are a collective of women and persons composed of peasants, indigenous peoples, women from territories under colonial rule, from war-torn countries, living under occupation, non-binary people, fisher folk, forest people, landless people, pastoralists, agricultural and food workers, consumers, people with disabilities, and urban food insecure women. We are people from furthest south to the furthest north in the world. We exist in all our diversities, including those who are historically subjected to discrimination due to their sexual orientation and or gender identity, race, caste, ethnicity, and other characteristics and identities impacted by multiple and intersecting forms of discrimination and violence. Women can go through so many different forms of oppression. This is the reality of millions of people. Each form of invisibilization, discrimination and justice block us from realizing our human right to adequate food and nutrition. Our right to food, a right that is indivisible and intertwined with other human rights. During the development of the voluntary guidelines, we evidence multiple forms of violence and discrimination and how they are shamefully a part of our daily lives. We demonstrated how it intersects with other forms of oppression. Our access to natural resources, producing and accessing food in great dignity is mercilessly blocked. The CFS has recognized the need to achieve gender equality and the full realization of women's rights. As the foremost inclusive international and intergovernmental platform, the CFS must fulfill its commitment to address gender discrimination as a pressing and urgent issue that obstructs more than half of the world's population from realizing their right to food. All of us, are major actors in local food production, as well as agents of food and nutrition throughout the globe. We are experiencing dramatic, inhumane and worrying regression and erosion of women's rights. It is crucial that we produce effective and evidence-based guidelines. This regression and erosion confirms that patriarchy is still embedded in our societies hence call, call in um, vehemently the need to achieve a pioneering document on gender equality in the context of food security and nutrition. Initially, the voices of the most affected were in process of being prioritized. This could have resulted in a strong document that recognize the socioeconomic realities faced by women and non-binary gender people. During the last round of negotiations, many key issues that had emerged throughout the process were deleted from text without any evidence-based argumentation. We are convinced that a true commitment to gender equality does not, and does not avoid divergent positions, but rather engages in a discussion on the issues at hand and consider available evidence. The CFS needs to understand and address them in full. It is imperative for the CSIPM to continue the policy convergence process. We cannot accept that the crucial and alarming issues we presented be made invisible. Doing so allows for discrimination and violation to continue unabated. If the convergence process builds on the premise of sticking to agreed language, then the patriarchal status quo will never be transformed. We firmly propose that the CFS organize special sessions in which experts um, could, could come and, and inform 
successive debates among CFS members and participants, but that those experts also include civil society and indigenous peoples. Furthermore, um, we, um, we need to ensure that the CFS mandate and its role vis-a-vis -vis UN agreed language and how this language should be included in CFS policy negotiations. We are confident these meetings can foster discussion, give guidance on thematic fields, and help find a way based on meaningful consensus that will allow for the true realization of the right to food. Unless we change the way we do things, unless we listen to those who are really the core of the document, unless we can move forward, there's no way we can change things. The words and concepts capture our lived realities. These are our lives. We have burned bras, cut our hair, and died for our rights. What more must we do to be worthy of the right to food? And I am going to pass on to my indigenous sister who wasn't given the opportunity to speak. Mm -hmm. Please, wait, we need to-, we need to and she, she will be brief. Rights, rights are taken. Soy mujer maya campesina del área rural. He venido eh, para hablar de, la, de nuestras realidades. Desafortunadamente eh, hemos han cambiado tema de agenda, por lo que esto es eh, indignación para mí y esto es discriminación. No podemos celebrar este día porque se están muriendo niños, mujeres en el mundo del hambre. No podemos estar en alegría. No me siento con alegría todo lo que se ha expresado aquí porque no, no es un día de celebración, es un día de resistencia. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Gracias por su declaración el mecanismo de la sociedad civil y de los pueblos indígenas. Muchas gracias.